all talk to ourselves. And we talk to ourselves all day, every day. These conversations are called inner dialogues or inner monologues, and they mostly go on just below our awareness. But I became acutely aware of mine one morning when a squirrel raced in front of my car. This, my adrenaline state was, was a, it created this silly diatribe about suicidal squirrels that went on. <laughs> and then there was this other subtle voice that joined the conversation. It said, squirrels don't think, they just be. And I reflected on that and I kind of had to agree. They really don't think, they're just looking for food. My name is Sharon Parziali. And that squirrel incident was an aha moment for me. And my curiosity about inner chatter became an avocation into the field of thought, belief, and decision. So as I said, we talk to ourselves all day, every day. The National Science Foundation says that we can think as many as 50,000 thoughts a day. Other sources say it's 70,000 thoughts a day. Remarkably, 95% of what we think is repetitive. And it basically reflects attitudes and beliefs that we hold, whether they're right or wrong. Also remarkably, 75% of what we think is negative in nature. This is pretty powerful stuff. I'm thinking, oh my god. If my self-validating, negative, repetitive thoughts are foremost in my mind, what's the impact in my life? So I monitored some of my thoughts. And sure enough, that chatty mind was in charge. And when it was, things got a little chaotic. I questioned everything. I was thinking to myself, are my beliefs true? Are my attitudes accurate? Am I behaving like that squirrel? And if so, what roads am I dashing across? You may be familiar with something called cause and effect. It's also known as the principle of karma and the familiar you reap what you sow. Cause and effect applies to all situations universally. And basically it says there is a cause for every effect. And of course, every effect then has a cause. <laughs> so I applied that principle to my conversations about inner thought and decision. And I found that our thoughts create our action. They're the cause. And the results of our actions are the effects that show up in our lives. I also found during my investigation that we really are of two minds. We have that noisy, chatty, negative mind. But there's also a subtle, more soulful mind that exists within us. And that mind is inspired by will. Will is the desire to do something, mostly much bigger than ourselves. And when you combine will with the wisdom of your inner mind, you get decision. Decision is a deliberate act of will guided by inner wisdom. I apply that equation to my life mostly these days. And I am more mindful. I say yes to more situations that take me out of my comfort zone. Here I am tonight. Thank you. I adapted my personal behavior code, my superhero code, and it now reflects more truer beliefs and more accurate attitudes. But that's not to say that that little mind doesn't come back every once in a while. It's an easy thing to say, but a difficult application. And for example, I wrote a book. I wrote a book about inner dialogue. It took me 10 years to silence that inner critic and get it published. That's my son, Aaron, in the corner there. He did all the artwork for our book. We all talk to ourselves. And the thoughts, those conversations impact the thoughts we have and the behaviors we do. I think the most significant thing about my journey through this conversation has been that we can be limited 
or set free by the choices we choose and the decisions we make. So I'll leave you with this. The road of life is paved with flat squirrels who can't think and don't make a decision. Choose happy thoughts. Decide wisely. Live fully. Thank you and good night. Woo!